as a popular destination for tourists. Many travelers visit Antwerp to learn about local culture and find the best activities, and many are eager to return. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 things to do in Antwerp. Number 10. Learn about printing at the Museum Planten Moretus. This historic printing press was formerly considered to be one of the best in the world. Since 1876, the property has been home to the museum, which is currently a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It may seem odd for a museum to be designated as a World Heritage Site, but after you see its interesting location, you'll understand why. The structure itself goes back to medieval times. Combine this with a museum that covers the world's oldest printing machine, a 17th-century library, and a collection of important artwork. Number 9. Museum Vlichuis One of the cool things to do in Antwerp is to go inside one of the city's magnificent medieval buildings, the Museum Vlichuis. This is a historic guild hall, and the name literally translates to meat house, since this is where the city's butchers would gather to talk business. The majestic structure you see now, with its spectacular facade, was built in the early 1500s, but is currently used as a museum space with a large collection of artifacts preserved that you can look through. Number 8. See Hetstein Castle Hetstein Castle, built in the early 13th century, was originally the city's stronghold because of its excellent location directly on the river. It's the city's oldest building and a favorite among photographers for both the castle and the strange statue immediately outside. The Steen has been used for a variety of purposes over the years, ranging from a prison to a museum. It's currently a visitor center with a panoramic rooftop and the location of the Antwerp story. The display offers visitors the city's history as well as an overview of its neighborhoods, inhabitants, and what makes Antwerp special. Number 7. Enjoy a free walking tour and some sun at Konschansplein. One of the finest ways to get to know a city is to take a free walking tour. Legends Tours organizes tours with competent English-speaking guides daily at 10.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 8 p.m. They're top-rated on TripAdvisor for a reason. After passing through a narrow cobblestone lane, you'll arrive at the lovely Hendrik Conscience Plain, which is named after Flemish 19th-century writer Hendrik Conscience. St. Charles Borromeo Church, located in the square, is often regarded as the most important Baroque church in the Low Countries. Number 6. Cross the river to explore the left bank. If you want to avoid the crowds and get a better perspective of the city skyline, head west to Antwerp's left bank, known as Linker Over. To reach there, simply cross the Schilt River via the lovely San Anna Tunnel. Explore some of the major green areas on the left bank, such as Galgenwiel and Blomenweide. Number 5. Antwerp Central Station and the Diamond District Antwerp Central Station marks the starting point of this one-day Antwerp trip. Even if you're not traveling to Antwerp by train, the station is a terrific place to start your day. This neo-baroque structure was built in 1905 and is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful train stations in the world, and I couldn't agree more. You'll enter the Diamond Quarter after exiting Central Station. This is where diamonds are polished and exchanged, and there are several diamond boutiques where visitors can spend all of their money. Antwerp has been renowned as the world's diamond capital since 1447. Number 4. Museum an de Strum, or MAS Museum an de Strum, or MAS, in short, translates as Museum on the River. Stellar architecture with well-curated exhibitions paying homage to Antwerp its history and culture. The five theme floors of interactive and entertaining displays use nearly half a million artifacts to show Antwerp's development into one of Europe's largest ports, a diamond capital, and a multiracial center of learning and culture. An outdoor terrace on the ninth and top level provides views ranging beyond the city to the River Scheldt, where the Antwerp tale began. MAS features a double Michelin-starred restaurant, Zilt, Number 3. Chocolate Nation, Antwerp's Belgian Chocolate Museum The popular Chocolate Nation advertises itself as the world's largest Belgian chocolate museum, is located just across the street from the central station. 
With your ticket, you not only get to learn about the history of chocolate and how it's created, but you also get to consume a lot of it. The tour lasts around 60 to 90 minutes and concludes with a chocolate sample at the gift shop. Number 2. Stads Fetzel Shopping Center – Shop in Style The Stads Fetzel Shopping Center originally opened its doors in 1908 and was designated a National Heritage Building in 1983. A fire almost totally destroyed it in 2000. Only the massive stairs, steel roof structure, and ancient facade were spared. Because it was such an important structure, it was restored to its former splendor and now appears exactly as it did when it originally opened. Everything from designer apparel to pop culture goods to premium bathroom products and inventive sushi can be found here. Number 1. Antwerp's Cathedral The cathedral, Onzelieve Vrouwe Cathedral, is the biggest Gothic cathedral in Belgium. The church has been severely damaged on several occasions throughout the years, robbing it of many of its valuable items of art. The outside was restored in the 19th century. The best remaining pieces of art may be seen in the nave and aisles, as well as the cathedral treasury. Ready to go to Antwerp? Check the link in the description with our top 10 hotels in Antwerp. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Smash that like button and tap the subscribe button to keep watching more helpful travel guides. See you in our next video.